Here's an extendable Obsidian Publish alternative using Next.js. So first, it supports most Obsidian syntax, like link previews, links using the Obsidian export library. Also has URLs based on folder structure. And what I mean by that is that you can see over here, there's the home link, and then here's the home file that's associated with that link. And same goes with all the other files in this Markdown folder. Backlinks can be added outside of Markdown files using the preview link component. So you see in this footer, which is not part of the Markdown file, there's a backlink in there. And finally, there's full text search. So you can search anything that you need or your readers can search anything that you post. For example, I can search publish and click into there. Here are the backlinks over here. So how do you publish your Obsidian Vault? We're gonna walk through a few steps on how to get that done. So first, I'm gonna click this link. The first step over here is to fork the repository. I'm gonna click onto this link. Uh, I have my GitHub account set up and everything. So I'm just gonna click fork over here, create this fork. And then for the next step, I'm gonna create a Vercel account and then go to my dashboard. I actually already created a Vercel account. To it, we're gonna click add new, um, according here, add new project. Yep, and then we're gonna install Vercel onto our GitHub account. That's perfect. And then we're going to import this linked blog starter MD that we've just forked. And then in the configure project, we're going to set the framework preset to Next.js. This is very important, so don't forget to do this. And then we're going to click deploy. After clicking the deploy, we'll see that the deploy has failed. Um, and that's as expected because we're going to use a different method to actually deploy this, not through Vercel. So I'm going to go to my dashboard click into the project, click the settings, and then I'm actually gonna disconnect the repository. The next step is that I'm gonna get my account ID, project ID, and token from Vercel. And how I do that is I'm actually gonna click into this link to get the instructions. And so over here, it says get the project ID. So scroll down over here. Here's the project ID over here. So PID, so that's for project ID. And then I'm gonna go to personal account settings, which is here, scroll all the way down. We're gonna copy the account ID. And then finally, we're gonna go and create a token, generate a token for the next step. So here's a token. I'm gonna create a token over here. I'm just, kind of, just gonna call it token, give it the full account scope and have no expiration. I'm gonna create that token, copy that token. I'm just gonna paste it over here. So here's the token, save that. And yeah, we finished step three. We're gonna go back to uh, the previous page with the backlink. And now we're on step eight. With the account ID, project ID, and token, I'm gonna go to my fork repository and update the GitHub secrets. So here was the link to my repository. And to access those secrets, I'm gonna click into settings, uh, secrets, actions, and create a new secret. So yeah, so first copy the organization ID. So organization ID is the same as account ID. So I'm gonna count, copy the account ID over here, add that secret, open the Vercel project ID, copy that into there. And that's the PID that I've copied, add that secret. And finally, the Vercel token. So the new repository. This is just a slightly lengthy setup. Um, after this, it's just gonna be a simple, smooth, silky process. So yeah, so after I've got that set up, have all the secrets here, I'm gonna click actions and enable the action. So these are the actions that'll help deploy your notes directly from GitHub to your website. So now whenever any notes are published to the published directory, they are automatically published online. And you can find the domain in Vercel under project. So right now I don't think there are any domains available. So here's the, here's the link to my thing. I don't think this will work because it's failed. So we're actually gonna make an edit to the homepage and we're gonna see this in action. So I'm going to actually delete this and just say, hello world, to see if this works. Commit changes. So this is going to take a while. After some video editing, uh, we're going to actually see that this will be deployed onto this website, link blog starter, whatever, Vercel app. If you want, you can actually see the progress of your workflow in the actions tab. Just see like the step-by-step -step instructions on how that works. Alrighty, so just about three minutes has passed and it has deployed. So let's check out what it looks like. So go up here, click visit, and there we go. We see hello world. So now we know that whatever files change in this repository, we can have it automatically update to our website. So yeah, check out the next video on how you can integrate your Obsidian Vault with the Obsidian Git community plugin so that you can directly publish your notes to GitHub, which will directly publish your notes to your website with one command.